Mm. Hi, I'm Michael Voltaggio, 2010 StarChefs.com Rising Star for Los Angeles and San Diego, and Chef de Cuisine Dining Room at the Langham in Pasadena. Today I'm going to use my EC Whipper and teach you how to make brioche in the microwave. And we're also going to carbonate some strawberries using the Whipper as well. Now we're going to carbonate our strawberries. We actually do it inside balloons and we leave them carbonated inside the balloons and then we serve them right out of the balloons right before the service. So what we're going to do is take these little fraise de bois, basically just wild strawberries, and drop them into the balloon. And we're going to inject the CO2 into it, and that will actually carbonate our strawberries. You want to do this about an hour before you're going to serve it, because you want to give time for the CO2 to actually inject itself into the strawberries. So the next recipe is brioche. We're going to take the EC Whipper and actually make brioche right here using this and the microwave. Same ingredients that you put in a normal brioche minus the yeast. You don't need the yeast in this case, because this is actually going to rise the dough for you. Start with flour, combination of salt and sugar, eggs, some butter. You can't make brioche without butter. So there's about 25% of the recipe is butter in this case. And then milk. Give everything a quick blend. You want to continue to blend it until all the lumps are gone. And you can actually use, use a clear blender so you can see through. And you'll notice that when it's smooth. If it's not smooth, it won't actually extract properly out of the uh, foamer. Once you've got it completely smooth, you're going to take it and just pour it directly into the foamer. You never want to fill these things up more than 3 quarters because you need to actually leave room. If there's no room for the gas, then it'll automatically just start sort of extracting itself out of the top. And then you're losing all that pressure. In this case, we've left about we filled it up to about here. It's even marked on the, on the bottle, the maximum filling point. Again, they put that there so you have room for the gas to go in. This one, we're gonna charge it twice and check it after two charges. You wanna shake it between each charge because you need to make sure that that gas is actually getting in there and getting mixed into your ingredients. At this point, you can check it. You want it to come out of the other end like a whipped cake batter. About just like that. So two charges is good in this case. Next thing you want to do is take a paper cup. Um, make sure it's microwave safe so you don't want to use something that's going to melt in the microwave. You need to poke holes in it because air actually has to get into this cup while it's cooking in the microwave. You want to poke about three holes around the side and then one hole on the top. You want to give it a shake every time you're about to extract everything because you want to make sure that the gas is still incorporated into the batter. You want to lightly grease the inside of it with non-stick spray. You're going to spray it into your cup. You want to fill it up about 40% of the way full. We're going to pop this in the microwave for about 45 seconds. The cool thing about this recipe is that you can bake fresh bread every time for every order. While that's cooking, we're going to start our plate up. This is basically just a foie gras terrine that we put little pieces of wild rice into. And these are our carbonated strawberries. We're going to pop the balloon. And these little guys are nice and carbonated now. Place a few of those on the plate. Once the timer goes off, you want to take the brioche out and you want to let it rest upside down. It's actually continuing to cook right there in the cup. It's not going to cook all the way in there. If you leave it in the microwave too long, we found that it gets very dry and hard. So we actually finished the cooking process with steam right here on the countertop. These are some little fresh nasturtium greens. Nasturtium is very peppery, so we put that onto the dish. Instead of putting fresh pepper all over the foie gras, Sometimes it's a little offensive. We add nasturtium to it just to give it the same kind of effect on your palate. These are little borage flowers. Cucumbery, like fresh taste to it. We don't put edible flowers on plates anymore for decoration. We find things that actually have flavor and put things on the plate that are actually going to make the dish both beautiful but also enhance the taste of the dish. Season everything with a little bit of sea salt. This is a soil that we make out of coffee and cardamom. So it's basically a streusel that we've put fresh coffee into and cardamom. A fresh uh, fraise de bois coulis that has a little bit of pimenta spilet. Piment pimenta spilet is a pepper from the Basque region. And then lastly, we're going to add the star, our brioche. See how that's nice and steamy and very light and airy? That's exactly what we're looking for. 
In this preparation, I actually used my EC whipper twice. One to make the brioche and the other to actually carbonate the strawberries. So we have a foie gras terrine with aerated brioche, carbonated fraise de bois, nasturtium, and a coffee cardamom soil. 